We're now going to look at a device that's commonly used in point of sales terminals, which are barcode readers, which are used for collecting in transaction processing systems. So basically, we have barcodes on all our products in a store, and we use barcode readers then to scan all the products when we get to the point of sales terminal. People can have numbers of products when they come up to a terminal, up 10 to 50 different products. So by having a barcode on each product, it enables us just to quickly scan each product, making it a lot faster to enter data into the system. When each barcode is um, scanned, it just gives a specific number, which is a reference point for the actual product in the product database. Once the item is scanned, the data about the product comes up in the point of sales terminal. Now, these barcode readers can either be fixed or handheld. So let's now take a closer look at an actual barcode. Essentially, what we have is this here. A number of black and white lines which represent a number, and really that's all it represents. Okay, It stops the actual operator from having to enter in that specific long number for each and every product that needs to be entered into the point of sales terminal. Okay, All the user has to do is basically scan the barcode and the data is entered into the system. So this gets scanned, okay, and the number then goes into the system and references within the system database. Once that data has gone into it, the product data comes up. So this actual number gives a specific product name, price, and quantity. It may also have other information such as whether the product is on special or not. But the barcode is merely representing that one number, which then is entered into a database and then provides other data about the product. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of how barcode readers work.